Hey everyone, it's Suzanne and I want to thank you for joining us for Your Creative Focus, where we help you build a business out of the hobby you love. You will also be able to get the show notes and the links we reference by visiting us at yourcreativefocus.com. Welcome to Made It Happen Monday, where we bring you the stories of the people in the creative industry who have built a business and made it happen. Today, we have Katie Weed from Blitzy, who is partially responsible for getting me into a lot of trouble. As you know, I went a little bullet journal crazy over the last couple of months as we worked on the planner series. When I realized that one was not enough, I quickly followed it up with 10 more and graciously gave my daughter Jordan one because I needed to share the Bujo love. I will admit and I was only going to get a couple, but dang it all if Blitzy doesn't have free shipping when you hit $30. It was my first time on their site, so I wasn't fully prepared for the epic wonderfulness that I was about to get myself into. Not to mention the price for the Rodia A5 bullet journal was cheaper than Amazon, so hello, I had to buy them, right? I mean, sale, free shipping, sharing Bujo love. It was a trifecta of amazingness that I couldn't pass up. And if that wasn't enough to send my little heart into tailspins, imagine my utter surprise when I received an email an hour later saying that they had shipped. I mean, what? Lou, now I know how you felt and it is incredible. Essentially, I found the crafter's Amazon without having to pay yearly for Prime. So how could I not have my new enabler on the podcast to help all of you spend your money on great crafty goodness for yourself. Katie, thank you so much for being on our podcast today. Thank you so much for having me. I can't believe you got 10 bullet journals. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm excessive. I, there's still some colors I don't have, so I'm going to have to go back. I actually have some in my shopping cart. That's hilarious. No, that was a really great intro. I often think of myself as Katie the Crafty Enabler because I there's just so many great craft supplies and I love sharing it with the world. So that was that was a great intro. Thank you. When did you first find your creative bug? Oh, gosh, I would have to say it probably started back in elementary school with school supply shopping. It's, you know, always the start of a new year and new ideas and possibilities. But I've just been always strangely drawn to notebooks and pens and markers and all the accessories. And believe it or not, with all this planner talk back then, my favorite thing was my Chandler notebook, which would be the equivalent to a planner today. And I still have some of my old planners dating back to probably fourth grade. So I just remember you know, using my Sharpies in there and there's stickers in there and little charms and things. So it goes back to, I'd say like third or fourth grade. What inspired the launch of Blitzy? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so my family has actually been in the industry for well over 20 years or so. So in a sense, I've grown up in the paper crafting world and I've seen the evolution over the years. And really my, the family background is in distribution, but in 2009, 2010, my two brothers and I ventured out on our own to start a digital scrapbooking company called Scrap HD. And shortly after launching that, we were acquired by Michaels, which led one of my brothers and I to Dallas, where we worked in their corporate office. And at that time, I mean, that's not that long ago, 2010 is when we started, even a few years after that, they were doing no e-commerce, selling no craft supplies online. So we just saw, you know, the craft space in general was very fragmented online. There was not one place to go for everything that you needed. And we saw a huge opportunity for a site like Blitzy where we could offer really great craft supplies at great prices and pair it with inspiration. What does the name Blitzy mean? We actually wanted a name that didn't mean anything, believe it or not. But what we discovered with Scrap HD, our first company, was that we had the word scrap in it. And so that limited us really to scrapbooking. And, you know, we wanted to think bigger with Blitzy and like, you know, as this evolves, we want something that's not going to just limit us to one particular category. So we had a lot of late night brainstorming sessions. And originally when Blitzy launched, we were a daily deal site. So the word Blitz came into my mind, like football, like Blitz, ready, go. That kind of stuck. And then we added the Y to just put a little feminine touch on it. So you've got Blitzy. Yeah, you're not stuck into one little thing. And you could branch off, like whether it's stamping or scrapbooking or 
bullet journaling. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We did start, we were, uh, you know, our bread and butter is paper crafting. Scrapbooking is what we really, really know. But as that's evolved even to the planning world and bullet journaling and just, it's so much more than just scrapbooking. So that's why we wanted something that's just more broad. With being in the crafting industry, though, what is the main focus or the vision for Blitzy and all that you offer? Because you do more than just, oh, here's a shopping site, go buy your stuff. So what is that that vision or that focus for Blitzy? So our main focus is to really be the destination for creative people to shop online, but to also be inspired. We love connecting with the crafting community and inspiring through video and through social media and not just being like a, Hey, you come here and you buy, you actually like, you see my face, you see Megan's face, who's also in our videos and we're, we're constantly having two way communication. So really the vision is to be your one stop shop for everything creative. And your website has a ton of great features and one of which is it's very video centric from the product videos and brand releases via Facebook Live. What was the motivation behind the video focus for Blitzy? So that's always been on the forefront for us. We just, we knew that being able to communicate, being only online, being able to communicate with our customers was really important and video gives us that opportunity. We can, we can provide education, we can provide inspiration and again, we can connect but when you walk into like a big box store, say you've got thousands of products and it can be a little overwhelming and you don't know exactly what to do with it. And you may or may not see an employee who may or may not know what, what that product is. They might not even know any more than you. But with video and being online, we can pop up on the screen right as you're shopping that product and be like, hey, here's what this does and here are the cool things that you can do with it. So that was really the motivation behind video is like, let's let's show everyone what they can do, that these things are amazing. It's a little bit of a different touch point, but it works. It really does because I was when, <laughs> God, I'm obsessed. When I was looking on your site this weekend, my girlfriends and I took a day and I don't think it was intentional, but we totally slacked off of work and we're on Facebook, we do this Facebook Messenger every single day, and we were shopping, and we were shopping for traveler's notebooks, and we were uh -huh. traveling for the bling and the washi tape, and to be honest, it's like I had seen people talk about traveler's notebooks while I've been doing this bullet journaling thing, and I didn't have a clue. I did not have a clue, but I'm on your site, and I'm you know searching for the traveler's notebook, and the new Prima ones came up, and then there was the video. So it was like, I actually got to see, because I live out in the middle of nowhere. I don't have a store within two and a half hours from me that I can actually go to and pick up things and look at it myself. So looking at the video of the traveler's notebook, I was like, oh, are you freaking kidding me? That is awesome. I need one. I need one now. You know, it was really nice having that video because it did. I mean, it showed the little bands and then the little pockets and how it's supposed to be used. And, and it was just a nice, fun little video, nothing long, you know, I didn't have to commit my time, you know, to watching it, but it was really, really nice. And the same thing with like the Gina K video when she brought out her foil mates and then Christopher Crop with his, you know, new release. It was, it was almost like, wow, look, there they are. I get to know <laughs> these people. And it's not just a website or just a blog hop. Um, it was very interactive and very like intimate almost. Yeah, that's what we try to do. We try to keep them quick and short to the point when you're on that product page. And so it's like, why do I need this? And since you can't be there to touch and feel it, you can see it in someone's hands and see the size of it and really get a sense of it. And you mentioned some of the designers. That's that's one of my favorite things is having the actual designer of the product come to Blitzy and tell us all about it and show us in video. And there's nothing better than hearing it from the mouths of them. I agree. And then the other great feature that you have on the site are the buying guides. Now tell us how those work and the benefits the buying guides offer to your customers and visitors, because I really like this one. Yeah. So buying guides are fairly new to us. Basically what that is, is we've curated products on some of the biggest trends that we see going on in the industry. So for instance, if you want to get into bullet journaling, like, like we've been talking about, or hand lettering or Bible journaling, card making, whatever it may be, you can click on that buying guide and then 
we've curated all the products that we think are really great for that trend. And we've made it really easy for you to then just browse by that rather than being overwhelmed with, you know, thousands and thousands of products to sift through. You can now narrow down within that buying guide for that particular craft. And that was very, very helpful because I had no clue what I was really doing. Well, the other thing that we're working on right now that is not too far down the line, I know you like to spill secrets on your podcast, is the Blitzy Bundles, which are going to be another kind of curation of products, but more like almost like starter kits for bullet journaling or for all different types of areas and crafts. So it's like, hey, I want to get started, but I don't really know what to pair together and what works best. And we'll have that all ready to go for you. So it's great for yourself or for gift. That's coming very soon. I'm so excited about it because then it's like, okay, well, once you have that starter kit, for instance, we are curating based on like different brands that we have, but we're also working with some of the brands, for instance, Illustrated Faith for the Bible journaling one. So we're getting the best of the best from them. And then once you've got that starter kit, I just see so much opportunity for building on saying, hey, you got the starter kit here's bundle number two, and it's a perfect add-on to what you already have, and making it really easy for people to jump into a new craft without having to think too much and pair things together and wonder, you know, what do I need and how do they work together? And that is so true. You know, we've been talking, you know, especially with the planners series this month, you know, what is the best ink to use in a planner for stamping? Or what are the best pens to use when you're bullet journaling? Or when, you know, what are the best pens to use even on regular planners? And having that bundle so you don't have to figure it out yourself because it is, it's hard. And not all paper is, you know, created equally. And not all pens, you know, bleed through as much as others. You know, so having that bundle is going to, is really going to save a lot of people. And I think people aren't going to be as intimidated by either crafting, getting into crafting or launching into a new branch of it, whether it's the brush lettering, stamping, the Bible journaling, you know, because you get this little intimidation factor of, oh, I've never done that before. What do I need? Yeah. And who do I ask? And now you don't have to worry about asking. Or you have this brand new shiny notebook that you're afraid to actually put the pen to paper because you don't want to mess it up. So with our, with the buying guides and knowing what you're buying and with the bundles that are coming, we're also going to pair that with videos. So you can, you get your bundle and you've got a link right there to all the ways to get started with bullet journaling and different ideas. So you don't have that fear of, okay, now what do I do once it's in your hands? Right. Now, if a brand wanted to apply to have their products carried on your site, how would they go about doing that? And do you have any prerequisites for them? Yeah. So we're always open to having brands reach out to us. They can just email support at blitzy.com and then they'll be directed into the right area. But Really, we're always looking for new, fresh product to have on the site. And as far as prerequisites go, it's just being able to ship us the product and making sure that it's a good fit with what we're trying to do with our branding and our offerings. But usually it's a pretty easy conversation and we can go from there. There you go. So all of my friends out there who own stamp companies, contact Blitzy so I could do more shopping. What do you and Blitzy have planned for the future or how would you like to see Blitzy evolve? So the evolution so far has been really fun, but we've always had really big sites for Blitzy and want to just be the craft destination. So really broadening our reach beyond paper crafting and conquering all of the different categories across crafting is part of our future where you want jewelry, you'll be able to come to Blitzy. You want knitting supplies, you'll come to Blitzy. So we've dabbled in some of those, but we haven't expanded really broadly into those. So that's coming. You'll see as we keep growing, our categories will grow as well. And then basically just being the name for crafting, Blitzy. You think crafting, you think Blitzy. You're going to get your inspiration. You're going to be able to connect with other crafters. And of course, you're going to get the best supplies. So that's kind of our immediate focus as far as like how we're going to grow. It's just growing the categories. Another big area where I see us evolving even more is our partnerships with the brands that we work with, where they need more outlets to get their message out. Blitzy is a great marketing platform where we can partner together to do videos and marketing and all of that kind of fun stuff where they might not have as much presence due to private label and different things happening within the industry. They still have Blitzy as a solid partner and a growing partner to work with. 
So knowing that, we also are learning a ton about e-commerce. And a lot of these brands are trying to reach the customer directly as well. So we have some things in the works where we're helping brands kind of evolve in both of those areas. So I think it's really about still keeping that connection with the customer, broadening our categories, but then also expanding our relationships with our brand partners as far as the future for Blitzy. So pretty much you act like a big brother, big sister to all the different brands that are out there within the industry with the new brand partnership. Exactly. And then with the with your broadening your reach within the crafting industry itself, because you're so video centric, it would be something like if I wanted to uh, learn how to do cross stitch, I can come to Blitzy, get my bundle of my starter pack, and then watch like a little kind of video of like how to get started. Is is that kind of the, the evolution that you see for Blitzy? I think so. I think we've, you know, we are, we're building kind of that paper side of things right now, but it will expand into even more areas as, as we are able to take on more categories. You know, and that's really nice. I mean, we can all go out to YouTube and you know, look, watch videos and r- try and find somebody that we can enjoy listening to <laughs> who doesn't have dirty fingernails. <laughs> Such a pet peeve of mine. And, and we don't have to go searching. We can just all come right here to Blitzy and you already have almost that core foundation set up now with the paper crafting. And it really acts like a one-stop shop for learning how to do, be more creative, essentially. Exactly. And that's the goal. We just want everybody to have that spot where they can live the, their most creative life and know that they're going to get the supplies and the inspiration and have one place to go. Now, did you ever see yourself as an entrepreneur and the co-owner of one of the biggest online craft suppliers? <laughs> no, actually, that's a really good question. So I was business management and entrepreneurship in college. So I guess in a way I I did. I kind of knew that that was the area that I wanted to move to. But when I graduated college, I was in pharmaceutical and medical device sales for a few years and had no idea that I would take a turn towards the crafting industry. But my, my brothers reeled me in. As funny, as funny as that sounds, but they had, my, my one brother actually had the original idea for Scrap HD, which was like I said, digital scrapbooking at the time. And they said, you know, this is something we want to go all in on is, do you want to be a part of it? And just in general, loving the space, I was like, yeah, that, that's definitely something I want to do. And being in sales, it was, it's kind of entrepreneurship in a way because you're running your own territory and your own business. So it's a totally different industry, but it carried over very easily in, in terms of kind of building things up. So, but no, I it, like, if you would have asked me in college, even I would have never known, but I'm happy with where we're at right now. As a fun end of our show, I like to find out what your personal favorites are. So Miss Katie, what is your favorite part of owning a business? Oh, I would have to say the ability to act quickly on ideas. So, you know, working for other people or working for big corporate, it's really hard to move fast and move with the times. With our own business, we can say, hey, bullet journaling's hot. What can we do to jump on that and really be leaders in that space? Or this isn't working. We can make a really quick change and fix it right away. Whereas you don't have a lot of hoops to jump through that you might have if you're not running your own business. And then who is your favorite video guest to work with? Oh, you know, that's not fair. (laughs) That is so tough. Really just in general, having the designers that have actually thought of a product from start to actually getting it manufactured, like all of those are my favorite to come in. I'd say the one that I've worked with the most is Ken Oliver because I just love all of Ken Oliver's products and he is not too far from Chicago. So I'm able to steal him over here a few times a year and get videos done with him. But, you know, we just recently had Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe. We've got Gina K coming in soon. I've interviewed the Mod Podge mascot, which was, that was that was a very interesting one because the mascot cannot speak. So it was that one was a lot of fun. I mean, I can't really pick just one favorite, but I just love the collaboration and anyone that is interested in doing videos with Blitzy, reach out to me because it's one of my favorite things to do. And then what is your favorite craft hobby that you enjoy during your downtime? So I like to dabble in a lot of different things. I would say the most consistent is my planner, and it's probably because I have to truly plan 
all of my days. And so when I have the time, I'll go the extra mile and, and decorate in my planner and make it all fun and crafty. Um, I also like to dabble and practice in hand lettering as well, which I need to commit more time to, but I, it's always been an interest of mine. I'm more shy about sharing what I actually do. I randomly will post on my Instagram and things like that, but I do bring things home all the time and I'm playing down in my basement with all these products and just love testing things out. And then I have to ask you, um, what planner do you use for your business? Right now, I'm actually using the Webster's Composition Planner. It was newly released at Creativation this year. and We just got it a couple of months ago. And what's really cool about it is that it's sort of like a planner and a bullet journal in one. Have you seen the Webster's Composition Planner? I have. That Their covers are so bright and colorful. I actually looked at those this weekend. Well, what's really cool is you can actually add up to three notebooks into the binder. So one of them that I have is just the blank calendar where you've got your month and then your week layout. Then the second one that I have in there is a daily habit tracker, which also has kind of like a uh, bullet pointed view so I can put all my appointments and all of my meetings in there and it has a water tracker. It's just like every day you kind of start a new page on that. And then the third notebook I have in there is the dot grid. So I can play around with different bullet journaling ideas and lists and things in there. So I really love that I can have one binder that has three totally different planning ideas within it. And then where can people go to learn more about Blitzy and do some shopping? Well, of course, you can go to blitzy.com and you'll find all of the wonderful products right there. And then we are all over social media with the handle at Blitzy Crafts. So you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, you name it. And we also have a private Facebook group called Blitzy Insiders, which anyone can ask to join. I run that group. And then I also have my personal Instagram, which is at Katie Weed, K-A-T-Y-W-E-A-D-E. So I'd love to connect with everyone. Katie, thank you so much for being on the show today. And for those of you who are trying to figure out what planner to use during our planner series, Blitzy has a great collection of planners, traveler's notebooks, bling, stickers, and stamps to use. We will have links to Blitzy in our show notes at yourcreativefocus.com. And if you currently shop at Blitzy, let us know what you love most about their site. Until next time, this is Suzanne, and you have been listening to Your Creative Focus. Happy stamping!